guys, I'm Kimberly from Fat Quarter Shelf Floss Tube, and today we are doing our All About Cross Stitch series. And so we have done several of these. We've talked about Ada, linen, even weave, floss, needles. So today we're gonna to talk about scissors. So it's all about scissors. And you can put any questions in. I'm gonna answer them all at the very end. And what I've done is I've put together um, a couple of different brands. Uh, eight brands. I put together eight brands and we're going to talk about them and we're going to go from the least expensive to the most expensive and just talk about the different things in the in the scissors. And scissors is really, I would say, something that's very much a personal preference. So some people care about the look of it. Some people care about the sharpness. Some people care about the size. Some people care about the price. So there's just lots of different things. So I tried to think of all the things that would be important to you, and then we can talk about them each with each pair of scissors. So um, what you would look for when you're shopping for scissors for cross stitch is you would search embroidery scissors. That is what they're technically called. And um, I'm gonna talk about um, just all the different options and we're gonna go by brand and then at the end I'm gonna answer questions. So the very first pair that I wanna show you is called Sweet Snips. And what you would do with, before we start, I would say um, when it comes to looking at scissors, when you're using these for thread, only use them for thread. So you wouldn't want to take these and cut your Ada fabric. Once you do that, they're gonna become less sharp. So that would be a very key thing. And um, so the sweet snips are three and a half inches. These are your best value for your money or great value for your money, best value for your money because they're the least expensive. You can only find them at Fat Quarter Shop they come in one color, and the blade length, if you ever look on our site and it tells you like 1.25 inch blade, that is the size from where the little circle is in the scissors to the end of the blade. And it says three and a half scissors, that's from the end to the end. So your bigger size is your full size, the blade is just right here, the end of the blade. These are made in Taiwan and they are extremely sharp. And um, I'm gonna show you cutting just so you can see. So they're sharp, they move really fast and they're a comfortable grip. So, um, you know, they're not hard to use. Some scissors are not as smooth, these are smooth. And, um, you know, very, very sharp. The other thing that's great about these is they come with a cap so that if you're traveling and you put this in your cross stitch bag, it won't interfere with your um, works in progress. Now, the one thing I will admit is I never use the cap, but um, this is the scissor I own the most of just because of the price. So these are sweet snips. Again, they come in one color aqua. The next brand I wanted to talk about is called Cotton Candy. And these come in two colors right now. In the past, they've had other colors. Right now, there is um, a pink and a lavender. So two different colors. Um, this is a good value for your money. And this one can be found at local needlework stores, online needlework stores, and Fat Quarter Shop. These are smaller. They're 3.25 inches. So they're smaller than the Sweet Snips. They come in the two colors and the blade is also smaller. So the Sweet Snips, the blade is, I'm gonna take that off. The blade is one and a half. The Sweet Snips, the blade is one inches. So the blade is a little bit smaller. And these are extremely, um, extremely sharp. They do not, um, they don't open as easy as these. but they're very sharp and Cheryl has had the same pair for 15 years and it's her one of her favorite brands. Now the holes right here are slightly smaller, so um, they're made for small hands, they're lightweight, comes with a cap, so they're great for travel and they're made in Taiwan. 
And so again, the colors are pink and lavender. Now, I would say out of all the scissors, if you're looking for an inexpensive pair, you don't want to invest too much and you want them to last, these are your brands. So that is one thing, if, if that's what you're looking for, I would pick between these three. The next ones I'm gonna show you is a new company to us. It's called Cotton Clara. And these are more expensive than the previous. So as I said, as I show you, we're going up in price. Now what these are, I would say, um, they're an okay value for your money. You can find them in online needlework shops. Uh, you can buy them direct from Cotton Clara online and you can find them at Fat Quarter Shop. There are five colors. So there is blue, red, sage, mustard, and lilac. Now these are, let's see, these are longer. Okay, so they do come with a cap. And compared to these, they are much longer. So they're 4.25 wide, the same size blade as the Sweet Snips. These um, are less sharp, but they have a very comfortable grip and it is a stiffer movement. Let's see. So they're sharp, they're just not as sharp, if that makes any kind of sense. But um, these would be, if you are in, if you're looking for something that's cute and is matte and, you know, is not blingy and this is, you know, I think people who are buying these scissors are really looking at them because they're so cute. So that's, um, so we've done Sweet Snips, Cotton Candy, Cotton Clara. Now I'm gonna show you Kai. Now Kai, I would say, this is like the top of the line. If you are a snizzer snob, these are great. So if you're somebody who like, doesn't care about the price, wants the best quality scissors, this is what you want. And I'm gonna show you, we just kinda, we just kinda got into, um, carrying Kai scissors, so we don't have as many yet, but we're working on getting a bunch. Okay, so this one is a four inch needle. So this is the one that would be used for thread. And these, uh, this is Kai N5100. So it's about the same size as the Sweet Snip. And um, I just wanted to show you two bigger ones, just because these would be more the red the very berry and the teal, they come with a cap. This one does not come with the cap on the end. These would be used more for if you were cutting your fabric, like your Ada fabric or your linen. So here's an Ada fabric that we were using to, and it's gonna cut right through that thick fabric. This would be for your thread. Very sharp, very easy movement. Um, the the this is for smaller hands though, a little bit as small. They're ergonomic. This is an ergonomic handle for comfort. The movement is smooth and it does not catch. Now we're gonna have a ton of Kai online soon, but um, this is the one brand that if you ever talk to somebody who, you know, is just like an expert in scissors, I feel like. Kai is the one that people love the most. You can find these at Fat Quarter Shop, local needle workshops, and online, and they are made in Japan. And um, just like a kind of a tip, if you ever buy something that's made in Japan, it's going to be a higher quality material, it's going to be a higher quality design, and it's probably going to be more expensive. Now I'm going to show you my all-time favorite scissors. These are the OmniGrid Yellow. These are my favorite scissors of all time. They're actually produced by Kai for OmniGrid. So this is my favorite scissors. The one thing I'll say is they're very expensive. 
So because they're expensive, I don't have as many of them, but this one is my favorite in terms of, I mean, it is very similar to here, but I think really with this scissor, I think I just have a personal attachment to it because it's what I've used for so many years. So this is a great investment because they're gonna stay sharp forever. I feel like they're so sharp. I mean, I have cut through fingers with this. So you do have to be careful, very sharp, easy to find. You can get this at, um, you know, Michael's online. Um, you can probably get it at Joann's. You can obviously get it at Fat Quarter Shop, but I, I love these scissors. It only comes in one color, which is yellow. They are four inches. The blade link is one and a quarter, also made in Japan, extremely sharp. And it does have this little tip that it comes with, but it's kind of hard to reuse. So um, I don't ever use it. It's gonna be hard to stay on. It's very lightweight. The movement is smooth. It doesn't catch. And this was um, basically, this is what I used 100% of the time until Sweet Snips came out. One thing about me is I have like 20 projects going at a time. And I like to have scissors in every bag because when I leave the house, I'll just grab a bag and I need to make sure I have scissors in there. And it would be totally unaffordable to have 20 pair of these scissors. That's ridiculous. So these um, are what I use more, but these are my all time favorite. These are called the Omni Grid 4 inch needle craft scissors. So the next brand we're going to show you, we're going to move kind of to our fancier scissors. These are from the company called Premax. These are getting more expensive. These are scissors you would find more at a specialty needlework store like a brick and mortar cross stitch store. You can find them at Fat Quarter Shop. There are lots of different sizes. Um, this one is chrome and this one is a Celtic design. So they come in different colors, different styles. These two are both three and a half inches with a blade of one inches. So your blade is smaller and the focus is more on the design. These scissors are made in Italy, extremely sharp. They, it does not catch. These don't come with a sleeve or a cap. They're very, very lightweight. And, um, the movement is really, really smooth. And some people like this style of scissor just because they like the look of it. You know, they don't want all these bright colors or, you know, they want something like this. Um, these are made in Italy. Now we're gonna move to another brand that I would say is similar to Kai. This is Bowen. Now your scissors are gonna come in this little container and that you can keep this to keep your scissors in here so that they don't, in your bag if you want to not have your scissors touching other things. So Bowen is a very um, well-known brand. It's more well-known in the quilting industry and very highly regarded. This is uh, more of your luxurious, sophisticated scissors, so they are more expensive. They're harder to find, kind of like Premax. Um, what you would do is you would have a couple in each different type of needlework store. Your needlework store would kind of pick and choose. We do carry all of them, all of the scissors that Checker, who is our distributor, orders. These two are bigger. They're, they're, um, I'm trying to get it, make sure I do it right. This one is three and a half inches. This one is four inches. And these I brought because I think they're cute. So they have um, different colors. The blade link on this one is so tiny. Look, it's 0.625. I mean, that's pretty sharp for a little tiny, tiny scissor. So I brought these out because some of, and we are gonna talk about traveling with scissors on a plane later. These are called 2.25 inch soft touch baby scissors. And I brought these for all the people who are scared to take a scissor on a plane. But we're gonna talk more about that later. Anything Bowen is made in France. They also make lots of needles. So very, very sharp. They don't come with a cap, but they come with that uh, sleeve packaging. 
and this is the tiniest scissor that we have right here and they come in different colors like you might find blue black and you know Bowen every now and then they'll come out with like a limited scissor that you can get for like one year so this is Bowen and then I'm going to show you Ginger. Ginger is the scissor that when I first started getting back into cross stitch after um, after I got out of college this was the scissor that I used the most these are these are heavier though so I'm going to show you four different Ginger scissors so these three come with the cap this one does not so this is more um, this is more of a higher end brand they are easy to find because lots of needle workshops have them they're made in Italy um, and this scissor has been around for at least 25 years now this is a really favorite of mine I don't use it anymore but I mean it is sharp and it's going to last but I, I like the look of it I like very simple silver but anything that is ginger is going to be sharp it's going to last a long time you can find I think you can find some of these in um, craft stores a limited supply and again we have a large selection of ginger and um, I'm gonna make sure that we have every single ginger that checker offers um, so these right here are the stork these are a lion's tail and then these are just four inch ginger embroidery scissors and then these are four inch ginger lightweight scissors so these are much more of a lightweight than this one um, but you've probably seen this one around so um the blade link here varies from like one and a quarter to one and five eighths. There's multiple sizes from three and a half or four. So when you look at these overall, kind of like as a summary, you know, I went from least expensive to kind of your more expensive. And if you look at your least expensive, they're more of bright colors, you know, very simple, plasticky. These are more of like a metal, shiny, um just a different look a different feel and like i said at the beginning everyone has a different preference for me i just need it to be sharp um now i'm gonna go through uh favorites so for me these are my two favorites this one is a favorite just because i've used it for so many years this is the one i use the most because of the affordability so this is sweet snips and this is Omni Grid. I'd like to, and like I said, I like to keep a scissor in every single bag. So this would be unaffordable for me. Now for Cheryl, I asked Cheryl what her favorites are. And these are her favorites would be these three. Cotton candy, which is what she uses. If you ever see Cheryl stitching anywhere, she's always got one of these. And um, she has some of the, what she does have is some of the older colors that they've discontinued. So, so every now and then I'll see some different colors, but she likes the Kai because of the smoothness and that they're super lightweight. And she likes the cotton candy also because they're sharp and very inexpensive. Okay, so we're gonna talk about airport per TSA. If you pack in a carry-on, your scissors must be less than four inches from the pivot to the point so from the edge to edge so any sharp objects in checked bags should be sheathed or securely wrapped to prevent injury to baggage handlers or inspectors now i would say i have taken these scissors and i've never gotten any kind of complaints at tsa one time i think i went through and i had five scissors in one bag and i'm not even kidding and i've never but i can't speak for what you know, I don't want to speak for what the airport is going to do. If you're worried, take something like this, which is your Bowen little tiny scissors. One thing I would recommend though is that's kind of the airport side of things. But if you're going to a retreat, I would suggest before you go to a retreat, because 
inevitably somebody's going to have the same pair of scissors as you. I would put some type of ribbon on your scissors before you go to a retreat. Then you always know, hey, these are my scissors. It's got my um, my little unique touch to it. So that's a that's a great thing to do if you're going to go to a retreat. You could also, um, you know, if you go to a retreat, take a needle minder and every time you use your um, scissors, put them on your needle minder and then that way at the retreat, you always know, okay, these are my scissors. So those are some tips that I have. I would say any of these scissors that I've shown are great quality. I wouldn't show you anything that I didn't think was a good um, quality. And I think there was one other thing I wanted to say. I'm trying to think of it. Um, I can't think of it. Okay, so I'm gonna do questions that came in before and then questions that have come in on the video. So the first question is, I find the Omni Grid brand has the best sharpness and the blade tip provides precision for the correct cut. What I'm looking for is a pair of scissors with serrated edges and a curved blade. Okay. So if you want serrated, serrated edges, I would, I'm not an expert on that, but I do know that all of the Karen K. Buckley scissors are serrated. So you could look Karen K. Buckley. Those are used for applique. The next question is, when is it appropriate to sharpen your scissors versus replacing them? I get my big scissors sharpened, but have always wondered about my small ones. I asked Cheryl, I've never sharpened scissors because um, I wouldn't have a clue where to go. And I'm assuming if I went somewhere in Austin, because we're kind of a big city, it would probably cost more than to just buy a new pair. So I've actually never done that. Um, so I don't really know the answer, but Cheryl says she's never gotten any of her small scissors ever. Um, she's only gotten her long ones. And as long as you use this, for example, just for thread, they should always stay sharp. Once your kids touch them and cut open an Amazon box, forget it. The sharpness is never gonna come back unless you get them sharpened. And I just don't think you're ever gonna get, the, get that feel back. The next question is, is there a difference in cutting with various small cross-stitch scissors? So I would say, you know, all of these are, you know, three and a half, four inches. I think it depends, you know, if you have really fat fingers or something, you're gonna wanna go to something that has bigger holes here. And it just depends. Some people prefer a longer blade. Some people prefer a smaller blade. Um, and then Gourmet Law has a great tip. She says, I only bring my cheap scissors when I go to workshops or stitching groups. And when I travel, I don't wanna lose my nice scissors. That's a great tip. That is a great tip. Will I ever carry Kohana brand? Yes, we actually, I actually own a pair of Kohana and they are amazing. We have a really hard time getting them from distributors, but we're looking into that today to find, what they do is they come out with limited color every year. The limited color for 2023 is already sold out. So we're looking to carry the ones that are like more basic. It's just really hard to get them in stock. This is a great question. Are Bowen scissors made in France like their pins? That's what I that's where I thought they were made, but we put on their Italy. So I think we I think we put that wrong. I these are made in France. Yeah, they're made in France. We just had, the, I said that wrong, or we said, we wrote that wrong, whatever. Yeah, these are France, sorry. I don't see the small Kai on the website. When will they be back in stock? Soon. So I actually ordered them uh, yesterday. Kai, the same thing, I'll tell you. Another thing about this is limited availability. These are great. These are easy for me to get. This is easy for me to get. Anything Kai or Bowen, much harder to get because my distributor only keeps a certain amount. Gingers, very easy for me to get. And Premax, it just kind of depends on their shipping. Um, so I will say Kai and Bowen, that's something that I'm always reordering and I usually have a wait time on that. Okay, so the next questions I see, they're not scissor related. So um, I'm gonna hold those and answer those 
for another week. I wanted to let you know my next uh, cross stitch stitchy talk all about series will be, sorry, my next all about series will be all about hoops. It will be August 1st, Tuesday, and it's gonna be all about different brands of hoops, like um, we're gonna show Nerge, Q-Snap, and different brands, and then talk a little bit about stitching in hand. And what I would love is I would love for you to comment and let me know what is your favorite scissor? Because um, maybe we don't carry it, maybe we need to carry it. Uh, maybe we need to have, maybe we have something that we need to carry in stock. And it's always great for people to look at what other people like. Um, just remember, you know, everyone has a different preference and it could be price, it could be size, it could be brand, it could be anything. Um, so I would love to see what you um, will say. And then remember tomorrow I will be back. So I will see you then, bye.